This is Panorama X1 test uh, with the external uh, battery bank or power supply. Initially, uh, X1 works from 12 volt power supply through the car cigarette lighter charger. Uh, but if you need, you can also connect uh, through the external battery bank. So here is the connection of the remote lens camera and the micro USB port, uh, 5 volt port from the power bank. So let's start. Let's power on. I will power on the power bank and as you can see it's starting up. The, you will see the GPS will be locked soon. <clears throat> but as you can see the green light here, the recording light uh, is still green. It doesn't start automatically recording. It's because the 5 volt power supply doesn't trigger the the automatic recording for this you just need to go to the menu and hit the camera button and it will record uh, start recording uh, the other way how to enable automatic recording from if it's connected to the external battery bank through the 5 volt is if you go into the menu and enable the motion detection on the first place so in this case I'm going to show you now. Okay, it started recording. I'm going to turn it off. Okay. Okay, I need a five second to hold. So, now it's switched off. Let's turn it on. Turn on the battery bank power supply. And as you can see there, there is some action on in front of the camera and soon it should start record automatically. Yeah, now it started recording. So it took a little bit of time to charge the capacitors, maybe 2-3 seconds delay uh, because of uh, initial power cut. So there is some guys playing soccer. And uh, yeah, this way, this way you can use the external battery bank. Let's try it again. Power off. Let's wait a little bit. <clears throat> and let's try again. So it's booting up. It takes a little bit time to recharge capacitors and as you can see this time was maybe one one and a half second delay before recording so yeah that's that's it thank you for watching